All right, yo, I just got off work. Time to stop boiking around and do this thing. Yeah. Got what I need right here? <sighs> Let's get this over with, yo. It's freaking cold. <sighs> All right, get ready. <sighs> just got off of work. I think I got enough energy to get this thing off, yo. All right, this is probably the best tool I got. Ugh, okay. Yo, I might need some gloves for this. Look like I got a long sleeve. Dude. The screw extractor just broke. What the freak? Oh man. Yo, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse. Yo, what the heck, man? I don't really know what I did wrong. <laughs> Maybe I should just drive around without a freaking sensor. I mean, okay, all it is is a sensor. <sighs> all right, I'm not too worried though. Um, Believe it or not, I've been here before. Yes, I broke a screw extractor in the head before. And I found that the only thing that could cut through this material was a Dremel. So, time to pull the Dremel out. Man, this is such a weird angle though. See it though? It's like, it's not flat, it's freaking... Ah, <sighs> jeez. Man, I think it's time to bring the lewd in the garage because it's freaking cold and windy. I need to get in the garage and be warm so I can work on this thing, man. I gotta cancel all the plans for the night. I really wanna make it to Cars and Coffee tomorrow, so let's do it the same. All right, so the lewd is in the garage. It's super crowded in here. <laughs> Yo, I just had another idea. So see how much this is sticking out, right? The extractor. I'm thinking that I can hammer it down. So even though the extractor is getting tighter, the sensor is gonna break loose. That's the idea. I mean, worst case scenario, the extractor is just gonna chip off and break. And uh, yeah, life just gets harder from there. But if I'm lucky, or you know, if things go my way, if I hammer it down, it's gonna unscrew the sensor and uh, break it loose. And uh, I'll be able to make it to the car meet tomorrow. Yeah, <sighs> let's try this. Nope, doesn't seem to be working, guys. <clears throat> I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I'm gonna probably just have to use a Dremel. I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully, the next time I pick up this camera, it's because <clears throat> I got that out. Yeah. Guys, I've been at this for a good three to four hours. Uh, I took a few breaks, but y'all yeah, stressed out. And um, I decided to do something that a lot of you guys would really hate me for, but um, I got me a Dremel and I kind of cut into the head. Ah, <sighs> so you see this diagonal slit? Um, I did this, I kind of cut into the head a tiny bit, but it's still gonna fit a flat head in here. I try to just unscrew it like that. Let's hope it works. Yo, I don't really have any room in here either. Well, looks like that was a waste of effort. And now I got a cut in my freaking cylinder head. I just get a new motor, yo. Hmm. <sighs> yo, guys, this is some real talk. I really feel like getting rid of this car now, man. Just This one sensor is gonna be a huge problem. I mean, I really want my car to run normally. I don't wanna do no ghetto rigging and shit, but yo, I don't know. I wanna go to Cars and Coffee tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> maybe I might destroy my car just taking it over there. But yo, I'm at the end of the ropes right now. Man, I'm just tired of wasting every single weekend on this car, just trying to get it to run. And then I just keep creating a new problem. <laughs> you live and you learn, right? All right, guys, so it's Saturday morning. I had my alarm set at 6.30, but I ended up waking up at five. <laughs> well, uh, here's the plan. So, the engine's good, not really, but since the sensor broken and I can't get it out and I really wanna make it to the car show or car meet, um, I'm gonna remove the thermostat so the cooling's gonna be running throughout the engine the entire time and I'm gonna set up the fan so that, so that they're running the entire time. That way I can ensure that the engine is not gonna overheat. It's gonna run a lot cooler than it's supposed to, so it's not gonna be running efficiently. 
but uh, at least I know my car is not gonna blow up while driving. So uh, this is just for today. After the car meet, I'm probably gonna drop by Lowe's or something to get like a, a new drill bit for the Dremel to try and get this uh, freaking easy out out of there and sensor. <sighs> pretty cold in here <laughs> but luckily i got this thing to assist me yeah all right let's do this thing all right so back to an open thermostat this is gonna allow coolant to run freely through the system okay yo i'm freaking freezing it's cold but gotta make the loot look good though Ooh. can't go to a car meet with the car looking all dirty so <sighs> gotta suffer for a little bit see Girls, they get ready by doing makeup. Men, or guys, car guys, car people, we get ready by getting a car right now. <laughs> Yo, my hands are so numb. <laughs> I got the dragon try to wipe it. My hands just like flew off because <laughs> everything's so stiff and cold. So I accept that this is the best it's gonna get for now. It's so cold and yo, it does look picture ready. <laughs> <sighs> Most of the car's still wet, but it's gonna air dry on the highway, so. I need to put up this hose and get ready to head out. Go meet up with Peter and we'll go have a coffee. So what's cars and coffee without the coffee? So let's do this thing. Yeah. Yo, what's up guys? Well, I made it to cars and coffee. Yeah. The lead made it over there without overheating. Ooh. Well, actually, I don't know if it overheated, but I did what I could to make sure that it wouldn't overheat. So that's that. But yo, made it to cars and coffee. Had a really good time. This was my first time actually getting there early. I got there about eight o'clock and yo, it took almost forever to find parking. <laughs> my freaking left foot was getting so tired of holding down the clutch. You know, it was like stop and go traffic within a parking lot. So man, that was crazy. And yo, shout out to everybody that came up to me and said, what's up, man? You know, we talked a little bit. It was cool, man. Um, I'm glad you guys uh, check out my videos and you know come up to me and say what's up man thanks for that guys <laughs> it's pretty cool maybe next time i'll start bringing some goodies to hand out you know maybe some stickers or something who knows but yeah good time at cars and coffee looking forward to many more meets hopefully the loot doesn't give out on me and hopefully we can keep making it to these car meets so yesterday was rough um i made everything worse by breaking that easy out and i spent hours and hours and still couldn't get it out but yo after the car meet i went to harbor free and Got me this. <clears throat> Not these. What the heck? This is a. Uh, this is scholars. Uh, a twenty-piece diamond point tips. Pretty much. Um. This is for a Dremel and it's used for like just grinding stuff down and cutting into things. And so uh, this was exactly how I cut through an easy out the first time I had this issue. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't the first time I broke it easy out within another screw. So it ain't new to me, but it's still pretty tough. <laughs> I'm not really sure that I'm gonna be able to get this one out, but I'm gonna try it because yo, if I don't, man, I'm gonna just have to get a new motor. And what the heck, I pretty much just rebuilt this motor. Why get a new one, you know? So I gotta do what I gotta do to fix this issue. <sighs> Yo, it's so freaking cold. Let's go and bring the loot in here, close the garage, turn up that heater, and just work in this small little cramped area. But y'all, I'm thankful I got a garage to work with. A lot of you guys out there don't have a garage, and I know the struggle. You know, if you guys see my a couple of my past videos, yo, I was out there in the cold, in the snow, in the rain, and doing what I could to work on the car, regardless of the weather. <laughs> so, I know the struggle is real. All right, well, let's get the lead up in here. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so this is the plan for today. We're gonna take this back off the distributor and everything that's in the way right here we're gonna flush the coolant and we're gonna get that easy out and that broken sensor out of the head the reason why we got to drain the coolant is because when i get to the sensor and the easy out i gotta drill into it yo and i don't wanna i don't want the coolant just like randomly spraying out you know i don't know which one to choose well we do want to dig straight into it so we'll get something with a pointy tip 
Alright. Alright. All I need is a drink and a lot of time and patience. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> I'm tripping. Wow, this is gonna take a while. All right, so don't know if you can really tell, but we are making progress. It's a little deep. I found that the circle tip is very effective. So it goes in by that much. That's a lot. What's a good amount? Yeah. This is definitely taking a long time, but <clears throat> slowly but surely. Yo, check this out. I got a lot out. And geez, this looks super cool. Look at this. It's a super sand. Whoa. So I think the hole is deep enough for me to use like a screwdriver or something to try to get that thing out. All right guys, so after hours of doing this, <clears throat> I got good news. I got it out, but yo, I did not think to even remove this upper hose to look in the hole. <clears throat> Cause yo, it probably would have been a lot easier to work through this hole right here to unscrew the sensor that was stuck. Pretty much I uh, never even had to use the easy out. <sighs> so the good news is the sensor's out. The bad news is this hole needs to be retapped. Pretty much I'm gonna have to drill a bigger hole and use like helicoil to make threads so I could screw that sensor back in. But I'm gonna take a break. I think I'm good for today. Hopefully I could get this fixed. Yeah.